The world watches more than a billion hours of video on YouTube every day and approximately 82% of internet traffic comes from video streaming. In 2010, 35 hours of video were uploaded to YouTube every minute. In 2019, that number has grown from 35 to 500. The data centers and networks that power streaming services consume more electricity than the entire population of the UK combined. In 2015, the infrastructure cost for YouTube was around $3.8 billion, and since then, viewership has more than doubled. In 2020, Netflix reported that its overall operational costs hit $20.4 billion, and a frenzy of new streaming services have appeared such as HBO, Disney+, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, Hulu, and many more. The Theta Network is a revolutionary project with the goal of decentralizing the computing required to power these streaming services. By incentivizing people to contribute their redundant computing power, the Theta Network could be the answer to massively reducing both the monetary and environmental costs of the world's video streaming obsession. Bitcoin is digital gold, Ethereum is the world's computer, and Theta will be the world's cache. To understand what it means to be the world's cache, let's quickly explain how YouTube works. When a content creator uploads a video, that video is converted into and stored in a variety of formats and quality levels. Then each of these versions gets sliced up into segments, which are typically just a few seconds long. When someone watches a video on YouTube, it doesn't download the whole video at once. Instead, it downloads videos by their segments and puts them all together. So after YouTube segments a video, it gets stored in a few nodes of what is called a content delivery network, or a CDN for short. A CDN is essentially a network of geographically distributed servers and data centers that store copies of content to be relayed to users in order to minimize transmission delays. At first, a new video will be stored in just a few nodes in the CDN, and when a distant viewer requests to watch the video, the system will copy the video to the closest node in the CDN before transferring the video to the viewer. YouTube uses Google CDN, which has over 100 of these nodes, and the locations of these nodes are referred to as points of presence. So if you uploaded a very popular video, chances are the video is being copied over 100 times across the globe. The process of saving pre-computed or previously retrieved data in a way that substantially improves system performance is referred to as caching. Having more points of presence allows YouTube to give a better streaming service to users, but it's very expensive. This is where Theta comes into the picture. The company's mission, as stated in the Theta white paper, is to leverage blockchain technology to create the first decentralized video streaming and delivery network, whereby viewers are incentivized to share redundant computing and bandwidth resources to address today's video streaming challenges. Let's explain how the Theta network works. When the company is talking about leveraging blockchain technology, it's not using the blockchain to store any of the video data or anything like that, because that would be insane. Theta just uses the blockchain to incentivize users to participate in the streaming process. There are two tokens on the Theta blockchain, the Theta token itself and the Theta fuel token. The Theta token is just used to stake transaction blocks, which basically means that they are used to maintain the blockchain as new transactions are created. People with a certain amount of Theta token may be chosen to create or validate new blocks on the blockchain, and the people chosen to do so are compensated with Theta fuel token. Validators could be anyone, but some big names have signed up to be enterprise validators, such as Google, Sony, Samsung, Binance, Blockchain.com, and Gumi. In addition to validator nodes, community-run guardian nodes also exist as a layer of protection for validating transaction blocks. At the time of writing, there were 14 enterprise validator nodes and over 3,000 guardian nodes. From inception, 1 billion Theta tokens were created, and no Theta tokens will ever be created again. Theta fuel tokens, on the other hand, are inflationary, and the program will create 5% more Theta fuel every year. Viewers can press a button in the Theta TV app that will allow them to use their leftover resources to store and relay the footage that they're watching. Viewers that contribute their resources to the network are compensated with Theta Fuel, which are currently priced at 38 US cents apiece. Advertisers can interact with the Theta network by purchasing Theta Fuel to fund advertising campaigns and support influencers. At its core, the Theta network is just a content delivery network, but with the realistic potential to have millions maybe even billions of small points of presence, rather than just a hundred or so big ones. 
let's address the major shortcoming of a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer streaming network, and that is availability. A participant in the Theta network is referred to as a peer. Peers can come and go at any time, and they also all have different storage and transfer capabilities. If there are not enough peers available for sharing, then the system will have to fall back onto a traditional centralized CDN, negating the effectiveness of the network. But the most exciting thing about a decentralized streaming service is that once it hits a critical mass, then the more viewers that join the system, the more robust and powerful it will become. The opposite is true for traditional CDN services. Since viewers don't contribute resources, the more viewers that join the system, the more expensive it gets to maintain a good service. When a viewer requests a video from the Theta network, there are two major components at play. The player, which plays the video, and the tracker server, which keeps track of all of the peers on the network, as well as their locations and performance capabilities. As a player launches, it registers itself as a peer on the network and retrieves a list of proximally close peers. So let's say that in your city there are 10,000 peers, then because of your proximity you can share video segments amongst each other at a much lower cost and faster pace. Then for video segments that don't exist within your group of peers, you can reach out to a traditional CDN further away, store it on your device and then share it with your peers. In this model, the Theta network doesn't completely replace traditional CDNs. Instead, it removes a huge amount of burden away from traditional CDNs, falling back to them only when needed. Now let's talk about the actual company behind Theta. Before Theta TV, there was Sliver TV. Co-founded by Mitch Liu and Jay Long, Sliver TV focused on the live streaming of eSports entertainment. Mitch Liu is the CEO of Theta Labs. He has a Bachelor of Computer Science at MIT and an MBA from Stanford. He co-founded an app monetization platform called Tapjoy, a mobile game development studio called GameView Studios, and a game development monetization platform called Midverse Studios. In 2016, the team raised $17 million in venture capital to fund further developments in Sliver TV. Early investors in the product include high-profile names such as Samsung and Sony. After their Series A round, the investors asked Mitch why he was spending 30 to 40% of their money on CDN fees. And out of that necessity, Mitch and the team came up with the Theta Network. Sliver TV was renamed to Theta TV in 2017 and the team began work on creating a decentralized content delivery network. Theta completed their first token sale in early 2018 and launched their live testnet in June 2018. Then just three weeks after launch, over 300,000 users began sharing video on the Theta testnet. The mainnet launched in March of 2019 and the team has reported a monthly active user count of over 1 million. The platform has also been endorsed by many high-profile individuals who have signed on as advisors. These include Stephen Chen, a co-founder of YouTube, Justin Khan, co-founder of Twitch, and Steve Duck, co-founder of Ethereum. And as we mentioned earlier, the likes of Google, Sony, Samsung, and Binance have signed on to be enterprise validators for the network. There's no denying that the world of streaming is huge. Just think of all of the people around the world that are binge-watching Korean dramas right now. In the time span of just about three years, Theta has gone from a short white paper to gaining over a million monthly users, a long list of investors and partnerships, and thousands of nodes on the blockchain network. The company is still in very, very early stages and the scope of the project is huge. But the beauty of the network is that no new infrastructure has to be built, yet it's scalable and sustainable. It just needs to hit a critical mass. So as the demand for streaming services grows, Theta's solution could be the only reasonable choice in terms of both profit and the environment. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is a new channel, so if you like the content, please like and subscribe to support us.